Have you ever wondered what will happen to your RRSP savings when you retire? Then this video is for you. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Here at 360 Degree Financials, our products and services are powered by Experio Financial Group. My name is Joy Phoebe Omoka, a licensed financial broker and an executive director with Experio Financial Group. Today, we are deep diving into our retirement phase of RRSP. If you are yet to watch the video we put out last week on phase one of RRSP, you can find it here. I believe it's somewhere here. You can see that video here so that you can watch it and then understand the four phases of RRSP that we are treating in this series. What will happen when you retire is that you will need to switch things up, okay? Because you've accumulated your savings in registered retirement savings plan. Now that you've retired, you need to switch it into an income fund where you will start withdrawing from it. And there are different options that you could use to achieve that objectives. There are three options that I'm going to be discussing with you right now in this video. Option one is to liquidate your entire RRSP savings into your savings account and start doing your withdrawal from there, okay? But again, that could be a very terrible idea because that money, the entire RSP savings you've liquidated into your account will be added to your income for that year and taxed in your hands in that year of withdrawal, which would amount to a whole lot of taxes that you have to pay to CRA. And that's why this option one idea could be a terrible idea for so many people. However, if your income for that particular year is low and you have RRSP savings and it's not as much, then that may not be a terrible idea after all. All right? So now that takes us to option number two. The option number two is to convert your RRSP into an annuity. And you may ask, hey Joy, what is an annuity? Well, an annuity could simply be put um, a contract where um, you trade your savings with an insurance company for a guaranteed income. And this guaranteed income could be for a specific period of time. It could be for 10 years, it could be for 20 years, 30 years, or it could be for a lifetime. So this video is not for us to deep dive into annuities and how it works. If you like to know more about annuities and how it works, can you leave your questions or your comments in the comment section and I could do another video if need be or just respond to your questions in the comment section. All right, now that takes us to option number three. Option three, which is the most popular one, is converting your RRSP savings into a RIF and RIF stands for Registered Retirement Income Fund. All right, so that is you convert, you switch it into RIF and then you begin your withdrawal from your RIF account. Switching your RRSP to RIF is very easy and seamless. All you need to do is send an instructions to your financial institution where you currently have your RRSP plan and they will make that, you know, switch easy and seamless for you. Okay, however, I want you, there are some deadlines that you need to bear in mind. Um, converting your RRSP to RIV must be done not later than December 31st of the year you turn 71. However, you could convert your RRSP to RIV anytime before then, but it must be done at that deadline. Failure to do so could result to penalty from CRA. 
and that brings us to the end of today's video next week we'll be deep diving into what actual retirement and withdrawal will look like you do not want to miss that segment if you're yet to subscribe to our channel please feel free to do so it's free just click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell that way you get notified whenever we upload a new video but for now thank you very much for watching and i will see you next week. Bye for now.